Well, welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is, uh, we continue for the second example we have uh, to solve uh, an integer program with a, a Groby optimizer. <clears throat> and here we start with uh, something from the last uh, lecture, and I just prepared this new problem. Uh, Kind of a little bit more complicated, and but uh, just illustrate how can we generate uh, variables and constraints using a constraint and variable generator uh, instead of uh, typing one by one. <clears throat> okay. First, we're going to uh, here we have five variables, three constraints. They're all greater than or equals to, and then. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> As before, we're going to import the Gorobi uh, library. Next one, so I'm going to do is a little bit. Just uh, let me do this. Uh, import parameters here. So I'm going to put in some input parameters. And first, we're going to do is I have five variables I want to use. OK, and n equals to 5, number of variables equals to 5. And then <coughs> I'm going to define my uh, cost coefficient vector, which is 5. If you look at here, it's 5, 1, 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to type 5, 1, 1. Two, three. Okay. So, also I can type by my right hand side, which is uh, using a pand uh, path on list, which is negative two. Okay. Uh, seven and four in that case. And also, now I'm ready to import uh, present the so-called. Um, <coughs> present our uh, uh, constraint matrix, actually. So first, I'm going to do an uh, index, OK, index, which constraint it is. And then I'm going to have constraint. I'm just using CLST. OK, here I'm going to using a so-called uh, <coughs> Gorobi uh, Mati dictionary, which is basically a list. It just grow be uh, multi-dimensional uh, dictionary. So dictionary, okay, um, <clears throat> which is uh, give me some sort of form. I'm going to input it here. First is I'm going to using dictionary and give me a <clears throat> set of a uh, variable. So the constraint actually is row by row, 0, 1, negative 5, uh, 1, and 2. Let me show you what, what does that mean. <clears throat> a second. So this is the first row, 1, negative 5, 1, and 2. Okay, but this is starting with uh, x2. So x1 in position is 0. Let's do the next equation. Uh, <clears throat> next uh, constraint should be 5, negative 1, 0, 0, and 1. OK. And the third constraint come up with, I'm oh, sorry, should be 2. So. Start with the index, start with a 0 instead of a 1, because uh, I explain to you a little bit later. <coughs> this is 1, 1, 6, 1, and 0. So this is pretty much what I have. The reason using a double square bracket is the first bracket represents that's a constant, uh, constraint uh, coefficient. And within the, the second layer of <coughs> uh, square bracket represent this constraint actually is a list, a list of numbers of so 0, 1, negative, one, negative 5, 1, 2. 
is all belongs to the constraint. Okay. <clears throat> if you don't have this double square uh, bracket, and then you have to have uh, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, like five different number, uh, I mean, a handler here. So here I'm just showing one uh, handler called constraint, and then within that bracket, and I, each one of the layer I have, uh, each one of the row, I have five elements to it. So later on, we're going to use that to uh, generate constraint. <clears throat> okay, here uh, after that, I'm trying to see if I can run it without error. Yeah, okay, work. And then we're going to create a model called MIP3. This is my third MIP. It shows you the license information, which means to confirm you have a correct license. <clears throat> okay. Next, I'm going to create uh, generate variables. Okay. The variable is, uh, again, the model is M as a short uh, uh, a variable we have is X, for example, <clears throat> is generated by the model and add variables. Like before, we have a add variable but now is so uh, I'm going to generate five different variables. So I have a pearl right here. Try to remember if you generate multiple variable using single line, <coughs> you need to using a pearl form. And this V type. Oh, sorry, my typing. V type equal to G B uh, G R B. Okay, Corel B data type actually it is integer this time instead of binary so there will be uh, integer variable so grb dot integer that's what I'm, instead of a binary and we're gonna call it the name call just call them X okay <clears throat> since now we don't have any underlying application yet so I just simply call it X later on we can be more fancy and link it to our application <clears throat> let's see if we can run this oh sorry I need to use in how many of those uh, we need to generate so the end right here represent how many of this variable I'm going to generate okay sorry for that so <clears throat> the end we defined is slightly before that's five <clears throat> I generate five <clears throat> the problem is using <clears throat> the end to generate five different variable so instead of x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 it actually goes from zero says that's a default uh, Python uh, let's just start with a position zero so actually, this will generate x with uh, 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 x0, x1, x2, x3, and x4. So it's still five different variables, but with uh, index to start with a z uh, zero. All right, after we generate <coughs> the variable, now we can uh, start generate the uh, objective function. Okay, so my objective function sorry set objective equals to uh, something okay and I know this is going to be minimize okay but how do we what is my objective function the, my objective function if you look at that <coughs> should be the C vector multiplied by all the X's. So th this is a fairly simple using the regular list uh, uh, product, and we'll call it product, and times the C. That will be my objective function. So X dot uh, C transpose times X, uh, like that. Okay. So objective function is a set. 
Like before, we can actually generate our, since we only have a three constraint, we can have three separate add constraint common and to add it three separate constraint. But in this tutorial, I want to <coughs> uh, show you how to, using the input parameter matrices we have given and trying to generate constraint in one shot. So you still have the original manual one by one adding method, but here I'm going to show you a new <coughs> a new method to generate them all together since we have all the <coughs> data <coughs> in place. So I'm going to add a constraint called add constraints instead of add constraint. Okay, you notice down here is a single uh, single uh, constraint. Now I'm adding more constraint. This constraint is fairly, also very simple. It's basically what I have is for each one of the rows down here in the dictionary, I using the const constraint coefficient multiplied by my x decision variable. So here we're going to do the same, the product of constraint. Okay. I'm going to using i, the i rows of the constraint, okay? <clears throat> and it is greater than or equals to the right-hand side of the i row. Fairly simple. But this will be propagated for i uh, in the index. Why is the index? Let me show you. The index right here is 0, 1, 2. So 0, 1, 2 is a first constraint, second constraint, and the third constraint. So here I'm going to be using index, trying to generate each one of the row, uh, each row multiplied by x constraint. So basically that's that. And the name I'm going to give it is constraint. Okay, constraint. And see if this would generate a room. Okay, sorry. And let's put this in the parentheses all together. Okay, so now we're adding three constraint, correct? Uh, zero, one, and two. Uh, we need to execute a model update, for example. I'm going to update my model to finalize. Okay, model add. Also, I'm going to show you more. If you want to verify everything is correct, and all you have to do is <coughs> add this into, uh, write this model out as a, okay, MIP3.LP. So that's the format I'm going to use. So here, the first <coughs> lines over here, I'm just trying to comment this code so you kind of understand what's going on. Update the model with a new constraint, the variables and the objective function, you just defined it. So just make sure everything settles in the Gorobi, transfer it to Gorobi, and write the model out as a double check. All right, finally, this, uh, it's about the time to write it. Oh, let's run this. Okay, no error. So next, I'm going to do the optimize. I'm going to write out the optimize and solve the problem. <coughs> okay, the problem solve, for example, op optimal solution found, which is fine. The best objective function is about 12 and <coughs> Okay, here show you uh, <coughs> how many uh, iteration it use and what is the lower bound for each one of the branch and bound algorithms. So <coughs> it's very easy to solve problem and I specifically using a set of uh, data so 
they should find an optimal solution relatively fast. Next, again, we've done this before. I'm not going to re retype. I'm just going to list the solution and the objective function value. So you see that x0 and x1, remember x0, 1, 2, 3, 4 is corresponding to your x1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <clears throat> x1 and equal to 2, x2 equal to 2, and rest of them equal to 0. Objective function equals to 12, and that's my solution. And print out the model and the solution uh, once again. I'll show you a different way to uh, get your output. Okay, I'm going to uh, conclude this model. This model is a little bit more complicated, slightly more data, and you can see the data can grow quite a bit. And then you can actually, <coughs> one can you actually forming these C vector, cost coefficient vector, or the right hand side vectors, and the uh, so called constraint coefficient in using this. In fact, we can also change adding the cons uh, right hand side into the multi grid uh, dictionary, multi dimensional dictionary. So, what it can do is adding a one extra column here called right hand side. Okay, and then <coughs> I'm going to add a number, negative 2, 7, and 4 into this as well. So negative 2 for the first constraint, and <coughs> 7 is for second constraint, and the 4 is for the uh, third constraint. <coughs> so it's going to co uh, come up with the same thing. I just integrate the right-hand side along with each one of the constraint coefficient that way. So you see that we can using a several different ways to consolidate my data input, uh, input data, and then solve the <coughs> problem uh, exactly the same way. Okay, and the flow of building model, adding variables, set objective, set constraint, uh, slightly update or write out the <coughs> possible uh, solution. Here I'm just going to try to give you, see this is the, the LP model actually, this uh, will be generated, so to minimize uh, this is objective function subject to the constraint 0, 1, 2, and each one of them list out as a regular function. This can be using for, uh, used for uh, solved by other solver other than Gorobi, and uh, you can using LP solve, uh, Pure, uh, Pure LP, uh, or uh, AMPL, and or uh, Lindos actually, <coughs> Lindos or uh, Lingos to solve using this output data file. <coughs> These are the very convenient way to using uh, to solve. Uh, linear programming problem or integer programming problem and you can compare with a different solver and how much time they use and so on and so forth. Alright, I'm going to conclude this uh, lecture. Thank you. I'll see you in the next lecture.